This is a CMA general knowledge practice test. This test consists of 50 questions designed to help you prepare for your general knowledge section of the medical assistant certification exam. Each question includes an explanation of the correct answer, so you can understand the reasoning behind it. Let's get started. 1. The combining form hepat slash o refers to the a. Stomach b. Intestine c. Pancreas d. Liver e. Gallbladder Correct answer, d. Liver Hepat slash o means liver Stomach a. Is gastro slash o, intestine, b. Is enter slash o, pancreas, c. Is pancreat slash o, gallbladder, e. Is cholecyst slash o. 2. Sarcasm, repression, and denial are examples of which psychological mechanism used to deal with stressful situations. A. Grief. B. Unconscious mind. C. Defense mechanisms. D. Ego. E. Self actualization. Correct answer C. Defense mechanisms. Defense mechanisms assist us with circumstances that are difficult for the mind to cope with. Grief A is a process that people experience during a time of loss. The unconscious mind B is the term Freud used to describe repressed thoughts and feelings. Freud defined the ego D as the conscious mind containing our thoughts and feelings. Maslow defined self-actualization E as the attainment of the peak of one's capabilities in life. 3. The function of the optic nerve is a. Hearing. B. Seeing. C. Smelling. D. Tasting. E. Touching. Correct answer. B. Seeing. The optic nerve carries visual stimulation to the brain. The vestibular cochlear nerve deals with hearing. A. The olfactory nerve carries stimulation for smell to the brain. C. The nerve pathway for taste. D is the lingual nerve. Touch, E, is carried by pressure receptors in the skin. 4. Your coworker tells you that her next-door neighbor has just come in for a health exam. She asks you to give her the health history form to review it. Which of the following actions is appropriate? A. Give the coworker the record to review. B. Tell the office manager. C. Remind the coworker that the patient record is protected health information. D. Ask the patient if you can show the coworker the record. E. Leave the chart on the work desk so the coworker can read it after you leave. Correct answer. D. Ask the patient if you can show the coworker the record. Medical assistants are expected to comply with rules and regulations that protect individual health information. Unless your coworker has a legitimate reason to be involved in the course of care or treatment, the patient record is off limits, and you need to ensure that the information remains confidential and secure in your office setting. None of the other actions supports your obligation in regard to patient privacy. 5. Which condition is treated with use of the DASH diet? A. High blood pressure. B. Diarrhea. C. Ulcers. D. Muscle weakness. E. Cancer. Correct answer. A. High blood pressure. The DASH diet lowers blood pressure significantly. The BRAT diet is for diarrhea. B. The bland diet is used with digestive disorders. C. Antioxidant diets help prevent cancer. E. High protein diets assist with muscle strength. D. 6. Sworn testimony given outside of court is called A. Subpoena B. Deposition C. Standard of care D. Evidence E. Verdict Correct answer, B. Deposition A deposition is sworn testimony given outside of the courtroom. A subpoena, A, is a legal directive to come to court to testify. Standard of care, C, refers to the expectation that a level of care will be given that is equal to what a reasonable, prudent person with the same training would offer. 
Evidence D is proof submitted supporting a plaintiff. A verdict E is the final decision. 7. In order for a case of negligence to be valid, all of the th for DS must be present except A. A duty must be owed. B. A duty must be breached. C. A desire to harm must exist. D. Damages must have occurred. E. Damages must be directly related to act. Correct answer. C. A desire to harm must exist. Intent has nothing to do with malpractice or negligence. Negligence occurs when a Heath care provider has a duty toward a patient, is derelict in performing that duty and damages occur directly because of it. When all four Ds are present, negligence exists. 8. According to Piaget, at what developmental stage would a child be expected to understand the differences in size and weights of a group of objects? A. Sensorimotor. B. Preoperational. C. Formal operations. D. Concrete operations. E. Self-actualization. Correct answer. D. Concrete operations. The ability to recognize and categorize objects by size and weight is part of the period of concrete operations. Children ages 7 to 11 are normally in this stage of cognitive development. Self-actualization, E, is not one of Piaget's stages. 9. The prefix meaning many is semi, b, macro, c, pseudo, d, poly, e, dia. Correct answer, d, poly. Poly means many. Semi, a, means half, macro, b, means large, pseudo, c, means false, and dia, e, means through. 10. Myelomeningocele means. A. Swelling of the brain. B. Hardening of the bone marrow. C. Herniation of the spinal cord and covering on the spinal cord. D. Formation of brain and spinal cord. E. Drooping of the testicles and scrotum. Correct answer. C. Herniation of the spinal cord and covering on the spinal cord. Begin by dividing the word into word parts. Mile slash o slash mening slash o slash seal. Seal means herniation. Myel slash o means bone marrow or spinal cord. Mening slash o means meninges or covering on the brain and spinal cord. When we look over the options, we want one close to herniation of the spinal cord and meninges. 11. Oranges, bananas, broccoli, and tomatoes are rich sources of which of the following minerals? A. Calcium. B. Vitamin C. C. Vitamin K. D. Potassium. E. Iron. Correct answer. D. Potassium. Potassium is the correct answer. Calcium, A, is found in dairy products, sardines, and canned salmon. Vitamin C, B, and vitamin K, C, are vitamins, not minerals. Iron, E, is found in red meats, dried fruit, and organ meat. 12. Which of the following is not a type of body tissue? A. Epithelial. B. Connective. C. Respiratory. D. Muscle. E. Nervous. Correct answer. C. Respiratory. There are four types of body tissue, epithelial, connective, nervous, and muscular. 13. Confidential information can be disclosed in all of the following cases except a. The patient requests the information be released. b. The patient's power of attorney for healthcare signs a release of information. c. The physician feels it is necessary for the public's welfare. d. Someone is in imminent danger if the information is withheld. e. The patient is mentally ill and out of touch with reality. Correct answer, the patient is mentally ill and out of touch with reality. Mentally ill individuals do not lose any rights, even if they are out of touch with reality, 
they are entitled to confidentiality unless their guardian or power of attorney signs a release of information. Information can be disclosed in all the other listed situations. A patient owns the information in the chart and may request to have it disclosed and the physician cannot refuse. A. Having a power of attorney for health care gives all the powers normally given to a patient to the designee. B. A physician may determine that disclosure of confidential information is necessary for the public welfare. C. For instance, reporting tuberculosis infection to health authorities is widely required by law to protect the public health. Any member of the healthcare team can release information without permission if another person is in imminent, life-threatening danger. D. For example, the patient who storms out of the office brandishing a knife saying that he is going to kill his girlfriend. 14. A terminally ill patient says, I've been cheated of my life. A better doctor could have cured me. Which of the following would be an appropriate response? A. Say, nonsense, the doctor is wonderful. B. Say nothing, but call an attorney. C. Say, I understand that you are angry right now. D. Nod in agreement and say nothing. E. Tell the patient that you will speak to the doctor. Correct answer. C. Say, I understand that you are angry right now. This patient is experiencing the anger stage of grieving. Kubler-Ross pointed out in her study of terminally ill patients that anger is often displaced on health professionals and that the anger should not be taken personally. This response supports the patient's feelings and acknowledges their issue. None of the other responses would be appropriate to this patient's remark. 15. If AC interference occurs on an EKG tracing, what is the likely cause? A. The electrodes are too tight. B. The electrodes are incorrectly placed. C. One of the electrodes is not completely attached. D. The patient sneezed or coughed. E. There is electrical interference from within the room. Correct answer. There is electrical interference from within the room. There is electrical interference from within the room. This type of interference results from any extraneous electrical source, such as lights or computers, and also from excessive current running through the walls. There will be even, sharp peaks on the tracing. When electrodes are too tight, A, or not attached completely, C, the result is a wandering baseline, in which the tracing does not continue in a straight line across the graph paper. Incorrect placement of the electrodes, B, produces artifacts in the tracing that can mimic serious conditions such as ischemia or gross arrhythmia. If the patient moves in any way, D, interference referred to as somatic tremors occurs, and uneven, rounded peaks will appear on the tracing. 16. Which of the following terms refers to sewing or stitching of veins? A. Venostenosis. B. Flubosclerosis. C. Vasoplasty. D. Venipexy. E. Phleborophy. Correct answer, phleborophy. Orophy means sewing or stitching. Flubo means vein. Venostenosis, A, means narrowing of veins. Phleborosclerosis, B, means hardening of veins. Vasoplasty, C, means surgical repair of vessel. Venipexy, D, means surgical repair of veins. 17. It is a hectic day in the office and the physician is backed up in seeing patients who have been in the waiting room. Mr. Hall approaches the reception desk and pounds his fist and starts yelling that his time is valuable and that he has waited long enough. All of the following steps are appropriate ways to handle the first stages of an encounter with an angry patient except a. Ask the patient to come into the next room and politely explain the delay and apologize. b. Lower the volume and tone of your own voice when speaking to Mr. Hull. c. Listen to his statement, nod, and let him know that you too find it unpleasant to have delays. d. Apologize and give him a coupon for free coffee in the lobby coffee shop. E. Tell him that you will need to call the security guard and have him removed from the office if he does not calm down. Correct answer, 
E, tell him that you will need to call the security guard and have him removed from the office if he does not calm down. Threatening him with calling security should be your last and least preferred strategy for managing the patient's anger. It is reasonable to attempt to defuse Mr. Hall's anger and offer him empathy, C, and a sincere apology, A, even when you are not responsible for the delay. By lowering your own voice, B, he is likely to follow your lead and lower his. In some instances, service recovery with an unhappy patient can occur if you offer a small and tangible token of apology for a problem or delay in service, D. 18. Which of the following vitamins is used for clotting? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B6. C. Vitamin B12. D. Vitamin C. E. Vitamin K. Correct answer, E. Vitamin K. Vitamin K is the clotting vitamin. Vitamin A, A, is used for skin and night vision. Vitamin B6, B, and B12, C, have a role in the nervous system. Vitamin C, D, assists with immunity. 19. Within the cell, the organelle responsible for the production of energy is the A. Lysosome. B. Golgi body. C. Endoplasmic reticulum. D. Nucleus. E. Mitochondria. Correct answer, mitochondria. The mighty mitochondria is responsible for the production of energy in the cell. The Golgi body, B, transports mucus. The endoplasmic reticulum, C, transports ribosomes. The nucleus, D, is the command center and responsible for DNA production in the cell. Lysosomes, A, are the waste removing organelles in the cell. 20. The word root for tumor is A. Onk slash O. B. Oma. C. Onk. D. Carson slash O. E. Carson. Correct answer C. Onk. Onk is a word root that means tumor. Onk slash O. A. is incorrect because it is a combining form. Because it is a suffix, Oma. B is incorrect. Carson E and Carson slash O D deal with cancer. 21. Which of the following thought leaders in the field of psychology believed that repressed memories created emotional conflict and possible mental disorders later in life? A. Elizabeth Kubler Ross. B. Jean Piaget. C. Eric Erickson. D. Sigmund Freud. E. Abraham Maslow. Correct answer, D. Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud's psychoanalytic theories held that people experienced problems because of repressed memories and thoughts from childhood. Kubler Ross, A, is associated with the grieving process. Maslow, E, developed the hierarchy of needs, and Piaget, B, and Erickson, C, are developmental theorists. 22. When the plaintiff is found to be in some part responsible for injury and the health care giver is not held responsible, it is called a. Assumed risk b. Contributory risk c. Comparative risk d. Technical defense e. Intervening cause Correct answer, b. Contributory risk Defendants are not held liable for damages when contributory risk is the defense because the patient was in part responsible for the injury. In assumed risk, A, the patient willingly accepts the risk. In comparative risk, C, both the plaintiff and defendant are assigned a portion of the responsibility for the injury. A technical defense, D, is based on a point of law being violated. An intervening cause, E, is an extraneous variable that came into existence altering the course of events. 23. Which of the following terms would describe an infestation of gallstones? A. Cholecystitis. B. Cholecystosis. C. Cholecystolithiasis. D. Cholelithiasis. E. Cholecystectomy.
Correct answer, D, coelothiasis. Start by looking for a suffix meaning infestation of stones, lithiasis. Either choice, C, or choice, D, will be correct. Chol means gall and lithiasis means infestation of stones. Together they mean infestation of gallstones making, D, the correct choice. Cholecystolithiasis, C, means infestation of gallbladder stones which is close but not the best answer. Cholecystitis, A, means inflammation of the gallbladder. Cholecystosis, B, means a condition of the gallbladder. Cholecystectomy, E, is a surgical removal of the gallbladder. 24. A medical assistant is working with an obese child on a weight reduction program. At a follow-up appointment, the assistant gives the patient a movie ticket for losing 5 pounds. Which psychological principle is the medical assistant using in this case? A. Reinforcement. B. Cognitive therapy. C. Health promotion. D. Latency theory. E. Fight versus flight. Correct answer, F. Reinforcement. By rewarding the child for losing weight, the medical assistant is reinforcing the behavior of weight loss. 25. Which of the following vitamins is not fat-soluble? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin C. C. Vitamin D. D. Vitamin K. E. Vitamin E. Correct answer. B. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is the only water-soluble vitamin listed. Excess is excreted from the body in the urine. Vitamins A, D, K, and E are fat-soluble and can build up to a toxin level in the body. 26. A defense based on assigning portions of the responsibility for damages to both plaintiff and defendant is called a a technical defense. B. Defense of denial. C. Contributory defense. D. Comparative defense. E. Assumed risk. Correct answer. D. Comparative defense. A comparative defense assigns portions of the responsibility for damages to both plaintiff and defendant. A technical defense, A, is based on errors in the legal system. Denial, B is not an affirmative defense. Contributory defense, C, means a defendant cannot be found guilty of negligence if the patient is in any part responsible. Assumed risk, E, is when the patient willingly takes on a risk. 27. Which of the following body systems is responsible for hearing? A. Skeletal. B. Endocrine. C. Nervous. D. Integumentary. E. Respiratory. Correct answer. C. Nervous. The senses are part of the nervous system because they pick up information and deliver it to the brain for a response. 28. During this period of development, young children experience the world only through what they can experience with their senses. At the early part of this stage, they may not be able to differentiate between themselves and the rest of the world. Piaget termed this period. A. The preoperational stage. B. The latency stage. C. The stage of formal operations. D. The sensorimotor stage. E. Infancy. Correct answer. D. The sensorimotor stage. The stage described in this question is the sensorimotor stage. In this stage, from birth until about age 2, children learn what they take in from hearing, touching, smelling, and seeing. They have limited motor skills. 29. Which of the following anatomical locations contains the patella? A. Arm. B. Foot. C. Torso. D. Leg. E. Head. Correct answer, D. Leg. The patella is the kneecap of the leg. 30. Which of the following specialists would treat ARDS, SOB, and COPD? A. Nephrologist. B. Gastroenterologist. C. Pulmonologist. D. Cardiologist. 
E. Hospitalist. Correct answer, C. Pulmonologist. ARDS is the abbreviation for Adult Respiratory Distress Syndrome. SOB is an abbreviation for shortness of breath. COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. These are all respiratory diseases and should be handled by a physician who specializes in respiratory disease, a pulmonologist. A nephrologist, A, is a physician who specializes in kidney disease. A gastroenterologist, B, treats gastrointestinal diseases. A cardiologist, D, treats the heart and cardiac diseases. A hospitalist, E, sees persons who are inpatients in the hospital. 31. Which of the following gives a choice to those over 18 years of age to determine the disposition of their body or body parts? A. The Uniform Anatomical Gift Act. B. The Living Will. C. The Power of Attorney for Health Care. D. ERISA. E. Residential Ipsiloquitur. Correct answer. The Uniform Anatomical Gift Act. The Uniform Anatomical Gift Act allows those over 18 years of age to make decisions about disposal of their body or body parts for medical education, research, or transplantation. A living will, B, authorizes the continuation or withdrawal of life support if the person is too sick to voice an opinion. A power of attorney for health care, C, is the designation of another person to serve as agent in making all decisions, including surgical or life-threatening decisions, when the patient is unable to voice an opinion. ERISA D is a federal act designed to protect retirement fund and pensions. Residential ipsiloquitur E is a circumstance where the responsibility for a situation is grossly obvious. 32. Which of the following terms refers to blood in the urine? A. Hematemesis. B. Uremia. C. Hematuria. D. Anemia. E. Aneurysis. Correct answer. C. Hematuria. In the word hematuria, urea is the suffix meaning condition of urine. The prefix hemat means blood. Uremia, B, is not correct. Remember, you begin translating at the back of the word. Uremia is a condition of the blood. 33. Perspiration is produced by the A. Ceruminous glands. B. Sudoriferous glands. C. Parathyroid glands. D. Sebaceous glands. E. Adrenal glands. Correct answer. B. Sudoriferous glands. Sudoriferous glands produce perspiration. Ceruminous glands, et, produce earwax. Parathyroid glands, C, are endocrine glands embedded in the thyroid gland. Sebaceous glands, D, produce sebum to moisturize the skin and scalp. Adrenal glands, E, produce glucocorticosteroids that involve immunity. 34. Which of the following formed elements is responsible for blood clotting? A. Erythrocytes. B. Leukocytes. C. Thrombocytes. D. Neutrophils. E. Eosinophils. Correct answer. C. Thrombocytes. Thrombocytes are called platelets. They are the initial patch to prevent blood loss when a vessel is injured. Erythrocytes. A carry oxygen and nutrients. Leukocytes, B, fight invaders slash infection. Neutrophils, D, and eosinophils, E, are specific types of white blood cells. 35. Which of the following would not be an unintentional tort when done by a medical assistant? A, giving the wrong medicine in an injection. B, improperly cleaning a surgical site. C. Are showing photos of a surgery without patient consent. D. And not drawing a blood test the physician ordered. E. Suturing a laceration for a patient. Correct answer. C. Are showing photos of a surgery without patient consent. Showing photos of a surgery without patient consent is an invasion of privacy, which is an intentional tort. 
Intentional torts include assault, battery, slander, libel, invasion of privacy, fraud, and false imprisonment. Giving the wrong medication, A, is misfeasance, improperly cleaning a surgical site, B, is misfeasance, not drawing an ordered lab, D, is nonfeasance and suturing a laceration, E, is malfeasance. These are all unintentional torts. 36. The prefix meaning beyond is A. Mal B. Amb C. Meta D. Retro E. Multi Correct answer, C. Meta Meta, C, means beyond. Mal means bad, Amb B means both, Retro D means behind, and multi, E, means many. 37. A court mandate to bring a portion of the medical record to court is called A. Respondiat Superior B. Residential Ipsa Loquitur C. Subpoena Dutzes Tecum D. Residential Judicata E. Caveat Emptor Correct answer. C. Subpoena Dutzes Tecum Subpoena dutces tecum means, come and bring records. Respondiat superior, a, involves the responsibility of the employer for the employee's actions. Residential ipsa loquitur, b, translates literally to mean, the thing speaks for itself. It is used when an error is grossly obvious and blame is directed at one person. Residential judicated, d, means, a matter decided by judgment. Caveat emptor, e, means, buyer beware, and has nothing to do with law. 38. A medical assistant is providing instruction on care of sutures to a young mother whose child has been injured in a fall. She is distracted and tells the medical assistant that she and her child have not eaten for two days because their public aid check is late. Which of the hierarchy of needs is preventing this mother from considering the patient teaching that is being presented to her? Self-esteem. B. Safety and security. C. Physiological needs. D. Love and belonging. E. Self-actualization. Correct answer. C. Physiological needs. Food, water, oxygen, and shelter are fundamental needs that must be met before this mother can attend to the safety and security needs of her child. The other stages are all higher-ranking items on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The mother would be more likely to attend to the instruction if she had food available. 39. Pathogens that thrive in the presence of oxygen are called If microorganisms B. Spores C. Aerobes D. Anaerobes E. Protists Correct answer, C. Aerobes most pathogenic organisms are aerobic, meaning that they require oxygen to survive. An example of an aerobe is streptococcus, which causes strep throat. Pathogens that are able to thrive with minimal or no oxygen are anaerobes, d. One example is tetanus. Microorganisms, a. are microscopic living creatures and can be pathogenic or non-pathogenic, aerobic or anaerobic. Spores, b are encapsulated, inactive bacteria that are difficult to destroy. Protists, e, are a varied group of mostly single-celled microorganisms. Some are pathogenic, such as Plasmodium falciparum, which causes malaria, and others are non-pathogenic, such as algae. 40. Which of the following suffixes is not an adjective ending meaning pertaining to? A. I. C. B. A. C. C. L. D. I. T. Y. E. Us. Correct answer, D. I. T. Y. The suffix, I. T. Y. means condition. 41. The physician can terminate the care of a patient in all of the following situations except when A. The patient does not pay the bills. B. The patient is non-compliant with treatment recommendations. C. The patient uses abusive language with staff. D. The patient misses repeated appointments.
E. The patient states that they are seeing another doctor. Correct answer. C. The patient uses abusive language with staff. The physician can terminate care of a patient if the patient is non-compliant with treatment, B. Misses appointments, D. Does not pay their bills, A. Or sees another physician, E. However, abusive language, C. Is insufficient cause to break a contract. 42. Which of the following prefixes means near? A. Perry. B. Para. C. Para. D. Oma. E. Meta. Correct answer. B. Para. Prefixes come at the beginning of a word. That eliminates para, C, and Oma, D. Meta, E, means beyond, peri, A, means around, and para. B means near. 43. Which type of fracture is a bone that is broken into pieces? A. Compound. B. Pathological. C. Impacted. D. Comminuted. E. Open. Correct answer. D. Comminuted. A bone broken into pieces is a comminuted fracture. A compound, A, or open, E. Fracture has broken the skin. A pathological fracture, B, is the secondary result of another disease. An impacted fracture, C, is the jamming of one bone into another. 44. Which of the following is considered high in antioxidants? A. Liver and organ meats. B. Dark green and yellow vegetables. C. Citrus fruits. D. Root vegetables like turnips and potatoes. E. Dairy products. Correct answer. B. Dark green and yellow vegetables. Dark green, orange, and yellow vegetables are high in antioxidants. Liver and organ meats, A. Are high in iron. Citrus fruit, C. Is high in vitamin C. Root vegetables, D. Have no special significance. Dairy products, E, are rich in vitamin D and calcium. 45. A plane that cuts the body parallel to the horizon is called a slashin. A. Transverse plane. B. Sagittal plane. C. Frontal plane. D. Coronal plane. E. Mid-sagittal plane. Correct answer, A. Transverse plane. A transverse plane cuts through the body parallel to the horizon. A sagittal cut, B, goes through the midline. A frontal, C, or coronal, D, plane divides the body into a front and back half. The mid-sagittal, E, plane divides the body into right and left halves. 46. Which of the following specialists would a person see for IBS, PUD, or pyloric stenosis? A. Cardiologist. B. Gastroenterologist. C. Urologist. D. Pulmonologist. E. A nephrologist. Correct answer. B. Gastroenterologist. IBS is the abbreviation for irritable bowel syndrome. PUD is the abbreviation for peptic ulcer disease. Pyloric stenosis involves the stomach and small intestine. These diseases would be treated by a physician who specializes in the stomach and intestine and disease of the gastrointestinal tract, a gastroenterologist. 47. The major site where carbohydrates are broken down is the A. Colon B. Stomach C. Mouth D. Large intestine E. Small intestine Correct answer. C. Mouth Digestion begins in the mouth with the breakdown of carbohydrates by amylase. 48. Crimes that are committed against another person or property and are punished with fines are called a. Felonies b. Misdemeanors c. Treason d. Torts e. Negligence Correct answer, d. Torts Torts are crimes against another person or property. Misdemeanors, B, 
Are crimes against the state punishable by incarceration in jail for less than a year? Felonies, a, are serious crimes, such as burglary, that are punished by incarceration in prison for more than a year. Treason, c, is a crime against the state, and negligence, e, occurs when a professional is derelict in performing a duty and damages occur directly because of it. 49. Which of the following words is correctly spelled? A. Ophthalmologist. B. Hemorrhoid. C. Cholesterol. D. Anesthesia. E. Migraine. Correct answer. B. Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid is spelled correctly. The others should be spelled ophthalmologist, A, cholesterol, C, anesthesia, D, and migraine, E. 50. The pancreas is located in which body cavity? A, thoracic. B, abdominal. C, pelvic. D, spinal. E, cranial. Correct answer, B, abdominal. The pancreas is a digestive organ and is located in the abdominal cavity. The thoracic cavity, A, holds the lungs and heart. The pelvic cavity, C, holds the organs of reproduction and some organs of the urinary system. The spinal cavity, D, contains the spinal cord, and the cranial cavity, E, contains the brain. Congratulations! You have completed the test. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more resources.